least for me, I don't, I don't know if you've ever wanted like, uh, you've ever wanted that. But real quick, guys, because I know some of you guys just joined. This is what the, uh, this is what our uh, pasta dough looks like um, and it, uh, before you cut it and flatten it out. I'm going to let this guy rest for a little bit more. It's nicely hydrated. Um, I added a little bit more water to that because I'm noticing that the, the, our first batch of noodles was a little dry. So, um, yeah, but that's cooking, right? Uh-oh. I lost you guys for a sec. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to reconnect this camera. Hey, babe. You okay? I'm about to make some cacio e pepe, so stick around. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Here. Here, grab it here. Grab it here. Look, I'll be the other way. Can you leave the cup there so that I can get some later too? All right, guys. So we're about to start a Cacio Pepe. Our stream's back on. Let me turn this guy around just so that I can, um, let me turn this guy around here. Okay. Our camera is in all sorts of whack right now. All right. Question. I'm cooking ribeye on the cast iron tonight. Do you recommend using any oil on the pan or, or, uh, steak or just drop it in dry? Thank you. Taco show. Um, uh, thank you for, for that question. I would love to answer this question. Um, make sure for, when you're cooking ribeye, there's a few things you need to keep in mind. First, get it to room temp. Don't put it, don't put it, it should be nowhere near the pan if uh, the ribeye is still a little cold. So get it to room temp, number one. Number two, um, season ahead of time. So kosher salt, preferably. Season ahead of time as 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 soon as you can season it both sides even the even the tops and bottoms um and then season it season with salt uh and pepper and then get, again get it to room temp on the pan your question is should i uh yeah I'm, okay you know this um should i uh any oil on the pan yes oil on the pan i i would suggest a high smoke point oil like avocado is probably your best bet if you don't have avocado, canola is probably your next best bet. Um, once, oh yeah, yes, it's patted dry, marinating with salt right now. Yes, it's the the ribeye itself has to be as dry as possible. You know that. Um, uh, oil in the pan. Once it's in the pan, I would try to find. Do you have um, a weight? Um, I think it's really important to like to have a little bit of weight. So once. The, the meat hits the pan, add a little bit of weight so that you get a nice even sear. Um, I would also do taco taco shop or taco show. I did my first stream on ribeye. Um, I would do a reverse sear if you can. Uh, put a, If you have a, a probe, um, one of these guys, I would do a reverse sear, probe it in, get it to uh, 110, pull it out at 110, and then finish it off with a sear, obviously pat it dry, and then uh, and then baste with butter and um, thyme and garlic. Um, but yeah, my favorite way to cook a ribeye definitely reverse sear with a probe, just because uh, taco taco show it develops a better crust if you do that. You you're getting browning in the oven uh, when you do that, and you just finish it off with a sear, and you get the exact done this. So I'm assuming you want a medium, medium rare. Um, 110 is a medium rare, but you're, you're still going to